Hi all. Oh dear. Been out in the shed. I'm soaked to the skin at the moment. It's the heat in there. Friend rang me up this morning. He says, I'm going to um, Lake Buzzard. Do you want me to pick up anything from your model shop? I said, oh yeah. I've got a five of it. Put it on my model for me. He says, yeah, okay. Well, he's come back. He bought the he bought it for me. Ah, well, he's, he's, he's bought it for me. It, it hasn't, I've got to pay him back on Friday when I get the money. So, there it is. Wallace and Gromit. Photo going in now. There you go. A um, couple of surprises in there. Well, one shouldn't be a surprise to me, I, but I didn't look at the box. I, Wallace and Gromit, oh yes I want one of those, thanks very much, I'll put that on the counter, put that aside for me, I'll pick it up in a couple of weeks time, no trouble, right, but, car's gone, so I've got to, I've got to buy a new alternator for the car, so, no good going down there with a bad alternator, I haven't got the battery power, in the box, there was the, all the paints, the red paint, which obviously is the most of it, Look at the size of that pot, nice big red pot. Couple of nice brushes in here, and a tube glue. It actually shows a humble, humble one of these on the box, but in the, when it comes in the box, it's a tube. But it's the same sort of stuff, so. Second surprise, I've used the 124 scale stand for um, the aircraft side. Nice thing about this is, if I can get down there, uh, you see them in the bottom there? There's two sort of bulkheads there. They're for the electric motors. I've got the complete stand here for the 124 scale model aircraft with the electric motors from Airfix in them. I'm going to take a copy of these. I've got some silicon rubber coming from the States. Um, I'm going to make them older, these things so that I've got the, um, I mean the battery I don't need, I, really, I don't really need the stand for the, so, but these, these I do, these, these bulkheads, I need them, I need the moulds for those, and I'll make the sides and, the, I'll make them with a bigger piece around them, so that I can cut them into any size aircraft I want to do, that I want to put an electric motor into, um, nice, good that. Um, I'm not going to build this for a while, that's why I haven't taken it out of the package yet. Um, first thing is motorcycle. There's 10 sprues in here for the motorcycle. Uh, I've had a quick look over them, I've had a look through the, with the light through the bag as well, I'm trying to see. There is no flashing on any of this, as I can see. There may be a tiny, tiny little bit which I can't see at the moment. But, um, quite good. Uh, Wallace is in eight pieces, Gromit's in seven pieces, but there's 14 pieces of Gromit because there's two of him, one for the sidecar and one for the aircraft. Uh, again, uh, the motorcycle's 47 parts for that and the sidecar. Uh, the other sidecar, uh, the aircraft one, version of it, there's 20 parts in there for that one. Uh, of course, there's 14 par uh, seven parts for grommet as well. The gun can be placed on either of them, either of the sidecar or the aircraft sidecar. So you display that as you want it. Um, the porridge gun, I think it's called, or something like that. <laughs> anyway, um, there's a sidecar one. It's basically the same as uh, it's exactly the same as the one in the si uh, in the motorcycle, except for these have got. An extra spur in there for the wings, tailplane, and propeller. Excuse me a minute. Oh, dog, there. Get down. He wants to get to my head. Anyway. <laughs> it's so, so damp at the moment. I'm sweltering, like I said. Um, the instructions come on two sheets one for the motorbike sidecar, one for the aircraft. Uh, pretty standard. They're little tiny square ones. Um, this one fold, it folds out to. A fair old size of sheeting, and it's both sides, you see. So, I mean, that's, that's quite a big sheet for the motorcycle and sidecar. Um, there. Uh, the sidecar piece, where is it? Here it is. The sidecar one 
it's the same size but only half the width. So there you go. I don't want to put that one down here. Also in it, it's got some decals. Um, it's got the license plate number. It's got the speedometer. And this little one just here. I'll put my finger over it there. It's a tax disc for the, for the motorcycle. <laughs> so it's everything's there. Yeah, actually, that's the first tax disc I've seen on a motorcycle. I've had this tax tax disc holders on Airfix motorcycles before, but the tax disc's not been in the decals. You've had to hand paint that on. That's it. It's going to be goodbye for me. It's goodbye from him. Uh, goodbye all. See you later.